New at six, several years after LADWP was accused of overcharging its customers, one of their lawyers is now accused of working for both sides. And it has many wondering if the company ever actually fixed that problem. Let's find out. NBC Force Kim Tobin is live in our news operations center tonight. Kim? And Chuck, good evening to you. The NBC4i team has worked with several of these customers with these very high bills. And there was a class action lawsuit that was settled very quickly in 2015. Now a consumer advocacy group says it's possible these customers could have been cheated out of millions of dollars, claiming there was fraud in court and in the settlement. The calls and complaints came pouring in. Customers saying the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power was overcharging them. How do you come up with this number. NBC4's I-Team interviewed Nora Shamalian in 2015. Her home burned down and her water and power was shut off, but she was still stuck with a bill for more than $8,000. She wasn't alone. Many DWP customers complained that their bills were too high. They joined a class action lawsuit that was quickly settled. LADWP paying back $66 million dollars for overcharging customers and promising to fix the problem. But today, accusations of alleged misconduct in that case. The attorney representing the overcharged customer is accused of double playing, also working for the city. Attorneys who are working for the city of L.A. defending these billing error cases also secretly represented the plaintiff in the case so that they could settle it quietly without learning the problems. Jamie Court with Consumer Watchdog saying the biggest problem is that customers could still be overcharged on their bills because the billing problem may not have been fixed like DWP said it was. It was supposed to stop, but instead, because there was fraud on the court and fraud in the settlement, we haven't fixed these problems. Los Angeles City Attorney Mike Fewer announced his office is conducting a review, sending a statement saying, quote, my office adheres to the highest standards of legal ethics. I take any allegation of improper conduct by an attorney under our authority, including outside counsel, extremely seriously. LADWP maintaining their innocence, still holding their consulting company responsible for problems with customer bills. And all payments on the class action lawsuit have been stopped as the court works to find out if there was any collusion. The city attorney's office says they have hired an ethics expert to review this case. Meantime, Consumer Watchdog now calling on the attorney general's office to step in. In the Operations Center, Kim Tobin, NBC4 News.